Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gab Official. Today, I'm just gonna show you how to replace a pre-tensioner on minis. If you ever get this light coming on, as you can see on the dash, it's got airbag light on. And you also get this warning thing about restraint system. It's relating to this pre-tensioner down here, this whole unit. What we're gonna do today is remove this unit and put a new one in there, and then I'll show you exactly the process how to remove it and from start to finish this is a process of getting to the vacuum brake sensor you literally have to remove this scuttle panel as you can see i've only removed one half of it because it's two separate parts you also have to remove the wipers as you can see it's situated just in there and literally you just literally pop it out it's got like a little grommet around it to seal it you just pop it out, disconnect the switch, plug it back on, make sure it's slotted in nicely. If it's not going in properly, just put a little bit of WD-40 on there and it will just slide right in. Now I'm going to show you the process of removing the driver's front pre-tensioner. As you can see, we've got one bolt there holding the seat down on that side. It's got four bolts, two on the front on each side. And we've got two at the back as well as you can see we've got the airbag switches underneath here we're gonna have to disconnect that as well and as you can see that's a part of the pre-tensioner down there that little metal bit in the corner as you can see that unit right there we have to remove all of that and it comes as a whole unit with the actual seat belt fastener And then we have to remove those two other screws. When we slide the seat forward, this channel bit will go back and then we'll be able to get access to both the other screws to remove the seat. Seat back, as you can see, that's one of the bolts and that's the other bolt. So we're gonna start by removing those two as well. As you can see, I'm using a T40 Star Torque to remove it. That's what they are. You can need to use um, different lengths, but as you can see, in certain bits it's a bit difficult to get to that's why i'm using this one a shorter one and you can also just put a 10 mil span around it the ratchet one's better so you can literally just rotate it and it makes it a lot easier to get it off holding the seat down and literally just move the seat back to get access to the plugs underneath there and then we're gonna have to literally pull the seat out or just move it enough to get access to the pretensioner just over there. Firstly, what we're gonna do is we're going to remove this little plug, like a little pick or something. Literally just pop that out. Just like that. Now we can take the whole seat out and get access to it. Put the seat out. As you can see, we need to get access to just that bolt there and remove it and take the whole unit off. Next step is to remove this plug. As you can see, it's got two little clips, one on that side there, one on the other side. We're gonna release them and pop this out. As you can see, this is a new plug and it needs to slot in there. As you can see, on that side. As you can see, that's the first one out. But we don't need that one, what we need is this one. And literally, that one literally just slides out into six sits behind the other one, you can see that it just comes straight out. Now the old one's out, you can start putting in a new one back in. You're gonna need a T45, as you can see, to 
to remove this bolt. And also to refit back on. I'm going to reconnect it. Clear the four codes. Let's see what happens. I've now connected back the plug. And now I'm just going to turn the ignition on. Let's see. That light's still on. As you can see, that light's gone off and there's no more warning lights on the dash. But we're also going to clear the fault codes after reinstalling the seat as well. Thank you and thank you for watching Gab Official. Please like and subscribe to my videos for further content.